guest, actor Martin Shaw, is well known to Australian television viewers, but Martin has more than one string to his bow. Two years ago, he played Elvis Presley in the stage production of Are You Lonesome Tonight? Now he's back in Australia to star in the play A Streetcar Named Desire. Morris Parker met up with him. Anybody who is good at something uh, gets joy from it, you know, because you're, you're doing something that you know is difficult, and, and yet you can do it. And, and with something as, as complex and demanding as acting, it just sets you off on an incredibly long journey. Oh, here we are. Volunteered for the SAS, three tours of duty in Northern Ireland. Two commendations. He was captain of staff Actor College. Martin Shaw is probably best known as Ray Doyle in the successful television series The Professionals. But his journey began at school playing Macduff in Shakespeare's Macbeth. Because I couldn't do anything else, you know. I mean, I was a sort of a numerical dyslexic and I, I hated school. And it was just a relief for me to do something well. It was the first time that I did something and somebody said, oh, that's good, you know. And so I thought, well, if... If it gains approval, I'll carry on doing it. After a series of stage productions, we have to harp back to that TV series one more time. Martin became a household name and was given a label by the English press. My full name, of course, is TV Tough Guy Martin Shaw. I'm not Martin Shaw, or nor even my actor Martin Shaw, but a TV Tough Guy Martin Shaw. You must have a big American Express card then. Yes, right. Yeah. Tough guy. He must have been long. Yes. <laughs> yes, I've got a lot of initials. Yeah, yeah. T V T G M S. You see. <laughs> that must get very frustrating. It is very frustrating. Yeah. Gee. When I mean, all forms of stupidity are frustrating. <laughs> However, it was his role as the late Elvis Presley in Are You Lonesome Tonight, which gave Martin his biggest thrill. What I did was to use the script that Bleasdale had written as my base, and then used a lot of of taped interviews and videotapes and anything visual or, or audible that I could get on Elvis and then just absorb that. Okay, having worked uh, on that play, Elvis, we've heard for the last six months, I guess, all these stories that he is still alive, he's living in Hawaii. <laughs> How do you react to garbage like that? Yeah, not only alive, isn't there, isn't there a statue of him on Mars? That's right, he's, he's also living in Hawaii, I think. Yes. Selling surfboards, I'm sure, is yes. Viva Hawaii or something at the moment. Yes. What do you enjoy most? Is it the stage work or is it the film work and the television work? In the best of all possible worlds, given a great director, a great cast and a great script, I prefer film. Because I like the, I like the immediateness and the spontaneity of it. And acting is about imitating reality or producing reality in a form that people recognise. I was reading about Michael Douglas and he said uh, one of the parts that he missed out and would have liked to have done was uh, the role in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Had there been parts offered to you and you've rejected them and they've gone on to be something huge? Yeah, a couple of things. The, the, I mean, the most notable being Phantom of the Opera. Uh, and that, that was offered to me straight after uh, Are You Lonesome? But I was, I was exhausted. I mean, it was, I was out on my feet and they said it was a big, big role and it was a big, a big singing role. And I thought, I just, I couldn't. I couldn't, and, and it's true, I couldn't have done it. But obviously, you know, I look at the success of Phantom, but you have to be philosophical about it. And anyway, I went to see, I went to see it and saw Michael Crawford and, I mean, follow that. It's one of the greatest performances of the 20th century. Away from his tough guy image, Martin likes to lead the quiet life with his family. If I've got a couple of hours to switch off, then I just turn on the TV because I spend so much of my life putting my energy that way, you know, out there that it's very nice to sit in front of a TV screen and do this, you know, or, or music. So it, uh, if, I'm, if I do switch off, then it's my relaxation is to get input rather than deliver output. OK, you've got a, a family growing up, a 19-year-old son. Now, do they want to be actors? And if they do, are you going to support them or not? They all three say they want to be the act uh, want to be actors. The oldest one is the only one who is old enough to put that into practice. He's 19 and uh, he's well on the way to doing that. So I'll just help him all I can and, and, and advise him all I can, but the rest is his responsibility. So the Americans got the Douglas dynasty, so the English may have the Shaw dynasty, is that right? They may do, yes. They may do, and, uh, and that would be wonderful if that happens. I would like that a lot. And they're all very talented. Now, I've completely ruined your image now. I said that you're a family man, you're married. Where's the sex symbol image gone? It's just part of the game. It's not real at all. You know, I mean, the, that, that, that route is really crazy. If you start believing your own publicity, 
then then you're ready for the funny farm, you know, because it's not, I know it's not real. I could, I could look out the window now and point at random and, and, and show you six sexier people than I am, but they're not on TV, you know, and, that, and it's, that's a very potent thing for people. Uh, and it's easier to fantasize about something or somebody that it gives you the illusion of being in your home once a week. He's armed. Yeah. I reckon I can get within about 10 feet of him. Is that Fox NBC proof? Off of the grid? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Driver sealed off the lot perfect. I'll never get close enough to him. You only need to get within 20 feet. I can love it if you're on the turret. Bingo, straight in the hole. And how long is the fuse? Four seconds. Four seconds. What if I drop it? You don't. Do it. Mm, TV tough guy, Martin Shaw. Piercing blue eyes he's got. We'll take a break.